Hey, what's up? This is Phil bringing you a tutorial on how to use the time warp effect in After Effects. So time warp is a way to slow down footage in After Effects. So this is an example that you might have seen from another video of mine. And you can slow down video in a variety of ways. What makes it great is that you don't have to depend on shooting with a camera that can shoot really high frame rates. This footage was shot with a Canon 7D that can shoot up to 60 frames per second at 1280 by 720 frame size. But even shooting at 23 frames per second, 24 frames per second, or 30 frames per second will be able to slow down in After Effects using the time warp effect. So let's get straight into After Effects. Typically when I have footage that I want to slow down, I'll shoot it at 59.94 or 60 frames per second. Then when I'm in After Effects or Premiere Pro, I will interpret the footage not as 59 frames per second, but as 23.976 or 29.97. So let me just bring this footage down into a new comp to show you what it looks like at regular speed. If we're watching this at full speed, it's going to be a lot faster than if we interpret it at a different frame rate. So if I go ahead and take this clip, right click it, say interpret footage main, and then change the frame rate from using frame rate from file to conform frame rate to something. You can do whatever you want. Say you say 23.976, which might be a frame rate you're also using from other footage you shoot. Hit OK. And now if we preview that footage, it's slower. It's about half to a third of the speed. OK, so now let's go into this clip. Actually, let's go into this other clip, create a new comp with it. And let's try adding the time warp effect. So if you select your clip, go up to Effect, Time, Time Warp. Now this whole time warp effect pops on, and you will notice that it adds its standard properties, which includes pixel motion, different types of speed, different tuning, vector detail, all these things that you don't really need to know because typically it does a very good job at slowing down your footage. So right now if we render it out, it will be playing at 50% speed. It's using this pixel motion method, which there are a few different options. One is whole frames, frame mix, and pixel motion. Whole frames is basically just going to take each frame and extend it, so it might look a little stuttered. Frame mix, that's kind of like flame, frame blending. So if it's going to take the frame before and after and blend them together to create a new frame. And then pixel motion actually tries to create new frames out of what it sees moving around. It's not actually a frame that's being blended, it's a whole new frame. But if you go to some of these frames, like this one for example, and I zoom in, you can start to see that it gets a little warped and that's not what it's supposed to look like. And you can tune it a little bit better especially for fast moving objects like a hummingbird, for example, you can change this vector detail to really down low to like five, and it's going to look a lot better. It might look a little blurry, as if it's motion blurred, and it won't be as crisp, and that might not be the effect you're going for if you're trying to get really smooth, slow motion, but you can play with this smoothing to have it look a little bit better. And you can see here if I'm rendering it out and it plays at full speed. So now it's at 50%. It looks pretty darn good. So this one is already at the slower frame rate. So it's already a little bit slower, but we can still add the time warp effect. And you'll see that you start to get that distortion as it's trying to recreate frames or create new frames out of the hummingbird's wings but it's just too fast. So this pixel motion is really good if you have motion that's not too fast, just maybe a person walking by, a person running, but as we know, hummingbird's wings are moving so fast, you can't even see them with your naked eye. So to see it like this, it actually looks pretty amazing. 
Now if we change this from pixel motion to frame mix, you'll notice that there's no tuning anymore, but it does an, a fantastic job in my opinion at, again, slowing down the motion. It's still a little bit blurry, but that's pretty amazing. And we can even drop this down even further. Let's try 20%. So this is 20% of this clip, which is already slowed down due to the interpretation of the 60 frames per second to 24 frames per second. And now this isn't completely smooth, but if you really want to slow down footage like this to study, study the movement of a hummingbird's wings, you can see how amazing this looks. Basically, if you're using super fast motion, I would change this to frame mix. If you're using standard motion, like someone running, jumping, a uh, skateboarder, bicyclist, someone doing a trick, use that pixel motion and play around with it. So that's the time warp effect. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments or hit me up at videoschoolonline.com. And of course, I have full premium courses on all of this stuff, including starter After Effects. So if you're new to After Effects and want a complete course and walkthrough guide to getting started, check it out at videoschoolonline.com. See you later.